to Nollywood Fellow, a channel where I talk Nollywood and I usually do spoiler free reviews but this time because nothing can spoil this franchise even more uh, this review will have a lot of spoilers now I'm talking about Merry Men 3 which is out on Netflix uh, the movie is too bad and I for one am disappointed uh, first things first I am a huge fan of uh, the Merry Men franchise you know, it's like the Nigerian Fast and Furious, you know, brainless action, uh, which is just thrilling to the core. I mean, who doesn't like to just be entertained? I mean, I at least do, uh, you know, so it's simple how it works, you know, like you just have shots of uh, glamorous shots of these guys coming out of their Ferraris and you're like, yeah, take my money or you have them landing punches at each other in a higher adrenaline action sequence and you're like yeah take my money and uh, then we have this third part and after seeing this you're like uh, how do I cancel my Netflix subscription this movie just does not do justice to the franchise I mean how difficult would it be to make a sequel to a movie that or, or a franchise that just thrives on uh, you know adrenaline and style you know but uh, turns out it was at least for these guys uh, so talking about the the franchise over here it's sort of this Robin Hood style group who fight corrupt people and help the poor but this time the villain takes on corrupt politicians and then in turn implicates the merry men because he once felt cheated by uh, AO played by Ramsey Noah and uh, then how the merry men go ahead and clear the names uh, is is what makes the the film uh, yeah so it's it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stupidity at play over here like our man the villain he enters this politician's house uh, because the guards were busy swatting flies I'm guessing and then he drags the politician out and streets him right by the street uh, because the Leg Lagos police were swatting flies I guess uh, and then the merry men get implicated in turn how they get implicated is another uh, funny thing and then there's a cat and mouse chase that goes on between uh, Daffy the villain and uh, whatever is left of the merry men uh, the favorite hobby of people in this particular movie is uh, being shot in the chest while wearing uh, a bulletproof vest you know uh, yeah and so you see someone being shot in the vest and you're like yeah we've already saw that in the same movie already I mean they keep doing it again and again and there's amazing discretion as well because characters who don't have to come back are shot in the head it's only the characters who have to come back from the dead or pretending to be dead are the ones who are shot in the chest uh, and while the series while the other two movies on the franchise so far have been entertaining and thrilling uh, this part part three sort of has this attempt to make us emotional and it does that without even giving us enough reasons on on why we would get emotional I mean what the in fact everything that the movie attempts is like this <laughs> I think in Merry Men 3 the smartest characters were Naz and Remy uh, played by Jim Mike and uh, Files uh, because they chose to die in Photoshop explosions instead of uh, you know being in the movie uh, now maybe it was a budget issue but scenes like the explosions and uh, the scene where the the minister was shot in the head and there's no blood there's nothing that shows how it was done was, was very poorly executed uh, yeah it reflects very poorly on the film in terms of performances I was really looking forward to Ramsey Noah and he is charismatic as always but he does look slightly jaded here uh, in terms of performances there are only three that really stood out here uh, Ireti Doyle I mean what a boss woman if she tells you to do something you won't even ask her why you just go ahead and do that I mean that's how intimidating she is 
and uh, yeah she's done a good job uh chidi mokeme he's perfect villain material i just saw this cameroonian movie of his called half heaven which is out on uh, netflix or prime on prime and he's done a stellar job over there as well he also has that really intimidating look and uh, he he's he was pretty expressive over here as well he his role was in fact uh, quite demanding and he did fra- uh, he did justice to it the other actor over here is buchi franklin uh now he's the only good part about part 3 that was in there earlier and he's so smooth and he's got this suave and attitude and uh, talking about the other actors the other actors were uh, they were there that's all i can say uh well all in all i hope ao finally puts merry men to rest now and that something as entertaining comes out but i hope it's not the merry men uh, and uh, that's it for this time till next time this is me nolly good fellow signing off if you've seen the movie do let me know what you thought about it that's it for now do like share comment and subscribe bye